Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Charlie, and in today's video, I'm going to be building Taylor Swift's mansion. It's ridiculously big, so I've split the video into two parts. This is the first part, and we are going to be building just the shell of the house, basically, and um, doing some of the landscaping and stuff. And in the second video, I'll be furnishing it and building the swimming pool and all of that kind of stuff. So let's get cosy and maybe grab a blanket and let's jump into the video. Like I said, this house is huge. I think it's got about eight bedrooms. She bought it for, I think, something like 18 million dollars, which is just mind blowing. Could you imagine spending that much on a house? I am very, very jealous. My inspiration for this video came from Taylor Swift's new album. She's got a song in there called the Last Great American Dynasty. In the lyrics, she references the holiday house that she lives in. So that got me thinking and researching because I was really intrigued about this house that she was singing about. I looked at so many reference photos. I Googled Taylor Swift's house like a whole bunch of times. So I'm probably on like some kind of list somewhere, some kind of stalker list. Um, I promise I'm not a stalker. I just like building houses in The Sims. So this house was built in the 1930s and was previously owned by a lady called Betty Harkness and she was a socialite, she married into oil money I think um, and she was kind of like, she had the kind of fame that Taylor Swift has um, but of her day. She's a very very interesting lady so I can see where Taylor Swift got the inspiration for her song. Very eccentric as well, I've heard. So like I said earlier, Taylor Swift bought the house um, for $18 million, and this is back in 2013. So she's probably renovated it herself and made it her own. I've tried to build the house as accurately as I could. Um, I did have some restrictions because of the lot size. I built it on a 50 times 50 lot, but even that still wasn't big enough. So I've had to cut off one of the balconies and just make a few other adjustments. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty accurate. So I've used the new platform tool in a few places. I've built some stairs with the platform tool. Um, I'm really enjoying having the platforms in the game. It's made such a difference to the way I build. I think I had about five attempts um, at building the house before I actually finally got it down how I wanted to. It's on a lot of different levels and a, there's a lot of height difference on the levels so it was quite tricky to kind of get it looking right. I think in one place I've got an extra floor where there shouldn't be a floor and you'll see as I kind of go along. The build might look like a bit of a mess to start off with because I started just building the front and you can't really tell what's going on but I was literally just following the picture, following the outline of the house, just trying to get like a rough guide of what to build around and then I started fleshing out more, adding more depth to the house and building the back. The back's actually really interesting, it's got quite a few balconies and stuff and like a few angular bay windows and um, it, there's like a lot of straight lines and a lot of um, kind of like hexagonal, that kind of shape. So I got to make the most out of a roof tool as well. It's definitely one of the most challenging builds that I've done so far. I usually like building smaller houses, you know, like four bedrooms, family houses, or even like tiny houses. Things that are like more compact because they're quite easy to fill and to make lived in and all of that. A mega mansion like this is so far removed, I was a bit out of my comfort zone. But I'm really glad that I did it, it was it was lots of fun to do, it was challenging and I know it's just a house in The Sims 4 but I felt like a little sense of achievement once I'd actually finished it. It's such a beautiful house, I could only dream of living in a house like that. Um, I'm not sure what I'd do with eight bedrooms though. It would be amazing at like Christmas time or something to fill with your family and friends and just have like a really good time. I mean if you've got that kind of money to live in a house like this you, you'd have um like maids and someone to cook your Christmas dinner for you and it must be so luxurious. I had a small issue with the windows in the house um, because if you look at the photos of Taylor Swift's house she's got these massive windows with um, shutters on them and I couldn't quite work out if the shutters were blue or if they like dark blue or black so I went with black anyway. But I think it looks really good against, it makes like a nice contrast between the white walls and the black shutters. 
I haven't built the swimming pool yet. Apparently the swimming pool is quite infamous. Um, there's lots of pictures of her and her friends in the pool having fun and they've got like a massive blow up slide and stuff like that. Um, so I haven't had a go at that yet. That's going to be in the next video when I furnish the house. I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with the furnishing. I'm going to see if I can find any pictures of the inside. But if I can't get a feel for like the layout of it, I'm just going to have to kind of add a bit of a creative flair to it, I guess. A bit of artistic license. It's on the gallery as Taylor Swift's um, house shell. So you can find it on there. My EA ID, I think, is Charlie D. Monk. I'd love to know what you think of the build, um, what you would have done, what you would have done differently. I love feedback, I love reading through it, and I love improving the way I build as well. I've done a bit of a cinematic at the end, so you can see like a bird's eye view of the house, and the camera kind of swoops around so you can get a feel of what it actually looks like. Um, like I said earlier, it was so much fun to build and it was really nice to give myself a bit of a challenge. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Click that bell icon if you want to get a notification when I upload new videos. You can follow me on Twitter, my handle is at Grali Monster, the same as my YouTube channel. I'm going to go tuck into my race dinner and have a nice glass of wine now. So I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.